any given Monday night in Greer, South Carolina, you can hear the notes of woodwinds, brass, and percussion ringing out into the night. But this isn't just any group of musicians. This is the Greenville Textile Heritage Band. The instrumentation, the size of the band, the costuming, the music we play, all of that's based on research. Research on textile mill bands from the late 19th century. I had the opportunity to uh, dig through some files at the South Carolina Library and what I found was that uh, several textile mills sponsored these little bands for their workers. Although the Monaghan Mill here in downtown Greenville has now been converted into apartments, the band still wants to remember and preserve the upstate's history as the textile center of the world by taking their audience on a musical trip back in time. I didn't realize the, the importance of, uh, of the mills in this area, but that was the commerce. The history is fascinating. USC alumnus Dr. Wesley Lowe says he likes sharing that history through the authenticity of the band's instruments. This is a 1925 Con Helligan. I bought a, a Con Conqueror Carnet that was made in 1904 to play with the band. And its song selection. It's definitely uh, music that would have been played by the textile bands in the, the 1920s, rags and some Dixieland style things. Not only does the band want to keep the textile history alive, they want to keep the music playing in schools. So they ask folks at their concerts to donate old instruments. The Music Club of Greenville takes these and repairs them and gives them to the, the school children. Dr. Moore hopes the band he started will spark an interest and leave a tune in listeners' minds. I hope it takes them back in time a little bit, even if they themselves hadn't experienced that era. I hope that, just like the original textile bands, they would just enjoy the music. Music from long ago, seeking to keep history alive today. In Greenville, Jenny Knight, Carolina News.